Hey YouTube, Mike the Gambling Guy here. I'm glad to be back. And today I'm going to be talking a little bit of crap. Actually, I'm going to be talking a little bit about craps. So, most of my videos have been about Baccarat, but if you want to find out about some superstitions about craps that maybe, maybe not true, right? Tune in. So, the first thing I want to talk about, so if you're familiar with craps, we know it all revolves around this puck, right? The game going to set your point and as soon as you got your point then it's going to be on right it's going to be on so the players all go it's on it's off okay but you know me i'm about the energy of the game about the energy of the game of craps so as we're putting things out there in the universe right as the puck is on you don't say the word seven you don't say the word seven because of what because seven shows up and bad shit happens yes we all know that we all hear someone say seven, seven shows up. That is quantum physics at work. You're bringing that into the universe. Now let's think about this from the casino's side of the game, right? Puck off. They're okay with that. Puck on. Their game is no. No, no. You're not. They don't want you hitting the point. So the whole time the dealers are standing behind the puck, they are just saying the word no. That's, that's, that's the energy of the game from the dealer side. So the one way, and speaking with some dealers, and how do you get around them going no, or in their head, they're going seven, 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 seven. They're saying that in their head because they don't care. They, they kind of want you to lose and, and you're gone. You're off doing something else, right? They want you to be able to make bets for them, right? So be a Henry. A Henry is a good tipper. So a great way of being a tipper is, of course, you could always put one chip next to the other chip on the pass line or in the other bet. But that way, when that bet wins, they win too. But they're also winning the bet on top of that, right? So they're playing a flat bet or the flat pay on top of that, and they're taking your base bet plus that. Another way of doing that that I like to play is you take that chip, whatever denomination you want to make, because you've got your base bets covering your, at least your minimum, on that bet, so if you want to throw another dollar on top, you absolutely can't pay even money, but maybe it's a fiver, right? Maybe you're playing quarters and you got a five cent on top for the dealers because now they get paid only when you win, but they're not taking your base bet. So that way, every time they're going to pay you on your base bet, and then you're going to throw them their dollar or five dollars or whatever that is because that way now they're on your side. They want you to win. And that's powerful. You want the dealers to be on your side. They, you want them to want you to win. So another superstition is, oh no, the, de the dealer just pushed me the dice and he, he pushed me a seven, right? So, so, so we've got a seven on the dice. You're going to notice when you throw the dice and the, and the dice come back to the center stick and the center stick had, had accidentally dragged that over and it had flipped to a seven, you're going to see them move that off of the seven. So this is probably the biggest superstition of the game. Everybody's like, no, you, you never push the player seven. Well, that's not a superstition. That is the, the dealer, the casino saying, we don't want to push you a seven. Because if you literally, if you set the dice for a seven set and you just pick them up and throw them, what's the chance? So have you ever tried this? Have you ever said, I'm going to set it for a hard eight, right? Or I'm going to be on the, the hard way set. So now I've got my I've got my hard eight, I've got my hard four, I've got my hard sit right there the hard way all the way around. And you try to throw that and you're like, oh, I was double pitch. And what does a double pitch mean? It means one die had rotated twice and you sevened out. Right? So let's play the game backwards. Try this. The next time you're going to set dice, the next time you're going to throw dice, set them for seven. They they're going to let you, as long as you're not doing two hands. One hand, just like at home, just use one hand. You can manipulate that dice to, to say whatever you want to say, as long as you're not taking too much time to manipulate the dice. But the way that I like to do it is I like to have the sixes, right, and the ones. So so now if you've got a three, three, four, or four, three. Any way you set those up, it's going to be seven, seven, seven all the way around. So now just pick up those dice and give them a toss. I right? did this the other night at a 30. Uh, 30, 30 roll, right? Hit five points, 30 roll. Actually, I did throw one seven. Luckily, it was on a uh, 
It was on a come up roll, so natural win. Woohoo! But other than that, it was just I was hit a lot of eights. I actually threw a lot of hard ways. That means I I was having that one die right spin around twice to give me that hard way number. So next time you're at a table and you're throwing dice, do a seven set. Don't be afraid of the number, right? Don't say it out loud. You're not thinking I want to hit a seven. You're thinking, give me a double pitch because I am horrible about setting my dice this way and having that same outcome come out. So use that to your advantage. That's why the casinos don't push you the seven. So this was Mike, the, the gambling guy, with just a, talking a little bit of crap. <laughs> Glad to talk some crap uh, about craps. So this was always my first passion uh, in my gambling career, kind of starting off. And I've, I've played craps for over 30 years. Love it. Um, I actually have a couple different coaches. Uh, shout, out, shout, out, shout out to uh, Bo Parker, the dice coach in Vegas. He actually got me started at dice setting and throwing the dice. Uh, so until next time, Mike the Gambler Guy, hope you're all well.